Hello and Namaste friends, welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to create grouping text effect and I have already created this effect using Photoshop, which you can see popping top right corner of your screen. So do check if you want to learn how to create a dripping text effect using Photoshop as well. So today we are going to recreate this effect using After Effect, which is super easy to create, applying very few effects. So let's fire up the After Effect, but before, as always, let's roll our intro. Here we are in our After Effect, and I have already finished creating the dripping text effect. But no worries, I'm going to create it again for you guys from the scratch. So let's go to the project. Down in the bottom, you gotta see this little icon which says create a new composition. So I'm gonna click on it. You gotta see this composition settings. So I'm gonna rename the composition. I'm gonna call it dripping text. Everything is standard, we don't have to change anything. Just change your duration if you want. So I have made a 10 second of composition, so I'm gonna click okay so we have our new composition ready and i have an image which looks something like this and i have downloaded from the google and of course you can use your own background you want it's up to you and if you want to use the same image i'm using in this tutorial then i will pin the download link in the description below so let's drag and drop this image to our composition let's drag and drop this background to our composition so i'm going to press r to enable the rotation property and i'm going to rotate this to 90 degree and let's resize this image press shift on your keyboard to resize it proportionally to match our composition let's add a text here so i'm going to select this text tool from our toolbar and of course you can directly press ctrl plus t on your keyboard to enable the text tool so i'm going to type here h o r r o r horror i'm going to select this move tool i'm going to resize this text maybe up to this size is fine i guess I'm going to center align this so here we have a text here and of course you can change you can change the color of of your text so i'm going to pick the eyedropper color and i'm going to select the color from the background image so i have selected the color which matches the background so let's rename our text layer i'm going to i'm going to call it text text one next let's go to effect and preset here i'm going to search for e d z e h and you gotta see this roughing edge effect. I'm gonna drag and drop this roughing edge effect to our text layer. So let's go to the effect and control. Let's adjust the value of our roughing edge effect. In the border, I'm gonna change the value to 15, edge sharpness to all the way 10, scale to maybe 60. So we have matched our text with our background. So let's change the blending mode of our text. If you're not seeing the blending mode option, by clicking this toggle switch mode, you gotta see this mode effect mode option so let's change the blending mode of our text i'm going to select it to linear burn so which looks super bloody color now i'm gonna select this text layer and press ctrl plus d to duplicate our text layer so we have text one and text two so let's go to effect and preset here so we have a find edge effect so i'm going to drag and drop this find find edge effect to text one change this value to eight percent i'm going to press s and my keyboard to enable the scale properties so i'm gonna scale it up a little bit up maybe up to this side so we can see the blue edge in our text layer which does not match the background of course so double click on our text and, and i want to change this color to the opposite color of red is blue so i want to change this blue to blue so that it will look a little bit reddish color now you can see our text our background text matches the background let's select the text one and let's go to effect and preset one more time let's search for displays so here we have our turbulence displays effect drag and drop to our text one and let's change the value of our turbulence displays in amount i'm gonna i'm gonna place the value 14 oh sorry 40 i'm gonna change the size to 30 i'm gonna come i'm gonna change this complexity to maybe three I'm trying to match this text to our background so let's select the text tool layer let's go to effect and preset and search for cc S M E A R smear so here we have cc smear drag and drop this effect to text 2 so which looks something like this it's kind of weird at first but no worries we are, we're gonna fix it so let's go to effect and control let's put this cc smear effect on top of our rough and edge so that the roughing edge will apply to our 
smear effect which looks something like this so so i'm going to select this point here and i'm going to place at the bottom of our text maybe somewhere here and again from the two property i'm going to select this point and down in the bottom outside of your screen just vertically straight i'm going to make a point here it means our dripping happens from here to here so let's minimize the radius maybe up to i'm going to place to 38 make sure your playhead is at the very first frame of your timeline so click on toggle animation of reach and i'm going to put this value to zero and go to maybe one and a half second or maybe two second near to the two second and i'm going to change this value to 120 let's see the preview the motion does not look natural so let's select the text tool layer and press u on your keyboard to see the keyframes so i'm going to select both the keyframe right click and here we have keyframe assistant and i'm going to select easy s and of course you can directly press f9 on your keyboard to easy s the keyframe so let's go to the graph editor and let's change our curve something like this so let's see the preview one more time so let's add this dripping effect to all the letters here which is very easy just copy let's select the cc smear and let's con press ctrl plus d to make a copy and again what we're gonna do here is go to from and select this point now i'm gonna go to o very bottom of our text and again from the effect control select this point and go vertically straight out of the screen make a new point here and again control plus d make a copy of our cc smear effect again go to from make a new point go to two again down in the bottom vertically straight create a new point here just repeat this process for your all the letters so i'm gonna fast forward so here i have finished creating dripping effect to all the letters so let's see the preview so all the drippings are happening at the same time so let's randomize the timing so so select the text tool layer press u two time on your keyboard and you gotta see this all the keyframe i'm gonna offset this keyframe to something like this so that the dripping happens randomly so i think this is fine so let's see the final preview here wow it looks super realistic so let's add a last effect to create to make it more cinematic more scary so right click here and go to the new adjustment layer let's go to the effect and preset and search for vignettes so here we have our vignettes effect drag and drop our vignettes to our this adjustment layer go to effect control and change the value of your of our adjustment layer to maybe i'm going to change the angle of view to 100 amount to 150 and i'm going to change this pin highlight to 100 damn it looks scary right so one more effect let's go to effect and preset and search for motion tile so let's drag and drop this motion tile effect to our adjustment layer we are going to change the value of only output height so i'm going to play i'm going to place the value 77 boom so here we have our cinematic scary horror text effect dripping text effect so this is how we create a dripping text effect so thank you for watching guys if you are new in this channel please do subscribe please give a comment if you like this video and of course hit like and thank you for watching again peace